if you're thinking about garden edging, then this is the cheapest form that you can get. We're in the process of doing a dug garden edge. As you can see, we've already started making a neat circle around our Japanese maple plant. And this one is Asia palmatum dissectum cereo. It's the only upright green dissected maple. It's a beautiful tree. So we have been mulching around this plant, but we want to take the grass further back so the grass isn't competing with the roots of the tree, so it looks better, and also we'll be able to mow right up to the edge of this by the time we've finished. So what we've done is we've simply got a stick and we've put a couple of notches in it as to how far out we're going to dig. We've gone around with our long handled shovel because we find them much easier to use than the shorter ones for this purpose. And we've simply been driving this in on a little bit of an angle, which makes it easier when you're digging in. As we go around, we're lifting it up. And once we've done that, we need to skim off all of this grass, removing all of the roots. For this, we suggest that you also use a wheelbarrow so you're not double handling the leftover grass and any soil. So what we're doing is driving the spade underneath and then we'll lift it up in sections, and take it out and put it into the barrow. So we're about halfway there and you can see we are taking away quite a bit of topsoil, but that's all right because we're going to top that up with a really thick layer of mulch. Now that we've removed all of the grass from around the tree, the next thing we need to do is to tidy up this edge a bit. And we're going to do that again using our long handled spade. We're just going to dig down and put some of that soil back towards the center. The idea of this is that we want an exposed edge along the grassy part because that means that the roots from the grass, when they become exposed to the air, they'll die and won't spread into the rest of the garden bed. So we'll continue all the way around, just making that edge a little bit deeper. Now at this stage, we're going to apply some mulch. So back over here, go over the area and just pull out any loose little weeds that are still there because this will make life a lot easier later on. We'll leave the earthworms though. And once you've done that, apply the mulch, remembering to keep it away from the base of the plant and you're not filling up the dug edge with mulch either because that will only encourage the grass to start growing back in. Before we go much further with the mulch, if the soil was dry, we would have been watering in this in really well. But the soil here is nice and moist and the mulch is nice and moist as well. This mulch has been sitting around for nearly 12 months, so all the heat's gone out of it. If you're using new mulch, you might consider putting a nitrogenous fertiliser down beneath the mulch. Not a lot, just a little bit, so that the mulch doesn't leach the nitrogen out of the soil. So there we have it, the cheapest garden edging that you can get. In fact, it didn't cost anything because we made our own mulch. Of course, there are other materials that you can use. We don't like using timber because that tends to rot. We don't like using aluminium or plastic. If we weren't going to do a dug garden edge, we'd either be using some sort of masonry or stone, or we'd be using the new Corten steel garden edging, which is very long lasting and really durable. And at this stage, just when you think you're finished, there's one more thing you need to do, and that's water it in well. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on all aspects of gardening, and as always, good luck with your gardening.